Centrifuge. A centrifuge is a device that creates a centrifugal force with high speed rotation to allow for the different components within a solution to separate and precipitate according to their different sedimentation speeds. 1. Types of centrifuges. Centrifuges commonly used in laboratories include tabletop low speed and high speed microcentrifuges that are designed for microcentrifuge tubes and floor standing high speed centrifuges that are designed for various centrifuge tubes. As for ultra centrifuge, since users must receive training to operate, it is mainly found in common equipment room under the management of an administrator. 2. Methods of placement for centrifuge tubes Each centrifuge has its corresponding centrifugal rotors of different types. Choose the appropriate rotor in correspondence to the centrifuge tube size. Please follow the device manual's instructions when replacing the centrifugal rotor. The placement of centrifuge tubes must allow weight to be symmetrically balanced. Therefore, solutions of equal volumes should be placed symmetrically across from each other or in a symmetrically equilateral triangle. When there are an odd number of samples, an additional tube containing clear water of equal volume can be prepared and used to maintain symmetrical balance. Keep the orientation of centrifuge tubes fixed during placement to allow for convenient examination of centrifuge results. Finally, check if the centrifuge tube's caps are thoroughly closed tight. Mnemonic Symmetrically balanced, oriented, and capped. 3. Operation of the centrifuge The first demonstration will be for a tabletop microcentrifuge, which can be found the two types of low speed, commonly called the little turtle, and high speed. Plug it into the electrical outlet and turn on the power button if there is one. A high speed centrifuge has a panel displayed in front and will start the self-test procedure automatically. The device can be operated after the panel shows the letters OP. Some devices may even have a music setting button for a prompt at the end of centrifugation. If low temperature is required, the centrifuge must be set to pre-cool to a certain temperature. Remember to close its top lid to maintain low temperature. If the centrifuge does not have a cooling system by itself, it can be placed into a cold room or refrigerated cabinet. Continue with the operation after the required temperature is reached. After preparation, press the open lid button to open the centrifuge's top lid. If it is a high-speed centrifuge, the rotor's cap must be subsequently opened by pressing the center or rotating the cap, depending on the models. Then place the centrifuge tubes according to the mnemonic. If it is a high-speed centrifuge, the rotor's cap must first be capped on. Lastly, the centrifuge's top lid is closed. Low speed models have fixed rotation speeds and cannot be configured. The centrifugation time is controlled by the on and off of the start button. On the other hand, settings for rotation speed and centrifugation time are available for high speed centrifuges and the start button is pressed to start centrifugation. By now, the panel will display an increasing rotating speed and time remaining. If centrifugation for only a short time is needed, press and hold the spin down button after setting the rotation speed. Let go of the spin down button several seconds after the rotation speed is reached and the rotating speed will slow down to a stop. For safety, please only leave the centrifuge after it is running normally. If sounds of abnormal rotation are heard or the centrifugation must be terminated halfway, press the stop button. Press the open lid button only after the rotating speed has reached zero or the panel shows the letters end and open the centrifuge's lid to examine the condition or to take out the samples. 
After centrifugation is completed, open the centrifuge's lid. If it is a high-speed centrifuge, also open the rotor's cap. Carefully take out the centrifuge tubes and place them on the centrifuge tube rack to avoid shaking and disturbing of the sediments. If the samples must be kept in low temperature, an ice box must be prepared before taking out the samples. When operation of the centrifuge is finished, please wipe it clean and keep it dry to avoid rusting. Finally, turn off the power and unplug the plug. If it was used in low temperature, please open the lid to allow for backing to room temperature and wipe the water drops inside the centrifugal tank. When it is not in use, please close the lid to avoid dust settlement. Now, a floor-standing high-speed centrifuge will be demonstrated. It is usually designed for relatively larger amount of samples. Plug it into the electrical outlet and turn on the power button if there is one. The device will start the self-test procedure automatically and can be operated after passing the self-test procedure. Some devices have a sound prompt function after centrifugation has been completed. If low temperature is required, the centrifuge must be set to pre-cool to a certain temperature. Remember to close its top lid to maintain low temperature. After reaching the required temperature, press the open lid button to open the centrifuge's lid. If the rotor has a cap, open it subsequently. Some models do not have this cap. Then place the centrifuge tubes according to the mnemonic. If the rotor has a cap, it should be kept on. Lastly, the centrifuge's top lid is closed. Then, set the rotation speed and centrifugation time, and press the start button. At this time, the panel will display an increasing rotating speed and the time remaining. Please be patient and wait for the centrifugation to finish. If centrifugation for a short time is needed, press and hold the spin down button after setting the rotation speed. Let go of the spin down button several seconds after the rotation speed is reached and the rotating speed will slow down to a stop. For safety, please only leave the centrifuge after it is running normally. If sounds of abnormal rotation are heard or the centrifugation must be terminated halfway, press the stop button. Press the open lid button only after the rotating speed has reached zero or the panel shows the letters end and open the centrifuge's lid to examine the condition or to take out the samples. After centrifugation is completed, the rotating speed will return to zero and only after that can the open lid button be pressed to open the centrifuge's top lid. If the rotor has a cap, also open the rotor's cap. Carefully take out the centrifuge tubes and place them on the centrifuge tube rack to avoid shaking and disturbing of the sediments. If the samples must be kept in low temperature, an ice box must be prepared before taking out the samples. When operation of the centrifuge is finished, please wipe it clean and keep it dry to avoid rusting. Finally, turn off the power and unplug the plug. If it was used in low temperature, please open the lid to allow for backing to room temperature and wipe the water drops inside the centrifugal tank. When it is not in use, please close the lid to avoid dust settlement. That is the end of the demonstration of using centrifuges. Thank you for watching.